Hello, we meet again. At follow the best channel. In this video just only educational purposes between Christians and Muslims. And this time Mr. Ahmed EX Muslim will give many Muslims educations the truth about Jesus Christ. Now, let's look at what Muslims said to Ahmad X Muslim so we can learn the truth from them. So enjoy watching video. Please share, comment and subscribe this channel. God bless you. I am saying, why is he saying, that, that your Lord God, Lord? If you are confused about him, yeah, like over God is. Why would somebody be confused about the Jal no, versus your Allah? Over God is bright in both worldly manner and spiritual manner. He is the source of spirituality. He is the source of all the all the. Logic. Hey, stupid! There is nothing called spirituality about Allah. Is what is he saying here? If you are confused about him, That's how can you saying. be confused about him being God? Uh, and yes, brother. There is uh, Siddhartha asking me, uh, how is Momo is the last uh, prophet if uh, Isa will come again? Uh, sorry for that, but I, can I take it? Yes, sure, please. Sure. Uh, yes, he is the last prophet for them as uh, he bluffed them and told them that he is the last prophet. <laughs> but Isa is still uh, alive according to their books and he is uh, in heaven cleansed and went up to to uh, to allah and he will be coming back to judge so basically he is a judge even for their last prophet he will be judging uh, muhammad uh, even muhammad so will be, he will be judging him uh, so you'll see isa it will be uh, more have more uh, power and uh, uh, thing uh, in the Quran and even on the, in the judgment day he will be uh, having more power uh, throughout the Quran the judgment day the everything more than Muhammad and Allah himself so even in their books I don't want to call him Jesus but Isa is uh, he've got more power than creation healing everything so the Lord is really great, even even if they copied some stuff like that, and they called him Isa, and they copied stuff like that. So the Lord is great, uh, wherever he went. So <laughs> even by copying stuff like that. Yes, so the short really, answer yeah. is, the short answer is that Isa of the Quran <laughs> did not die. He is still alive. And Muhammad came six, 600 years after Isa. And according to them, he did not die. So because he did not die, he, when he will come back again, it's not going to be that he is a new person. He's already born before Muhammad. And he will going to accept the Sunnah of Muhammad. And he going to be the Imam. And he was going to re recite the Namaz behind Imam Mahdi. This is the Islamic scriptures. So yes, from the Islamic scriptures, this is how Muhammad is the last prophet. Still, Isa will come back. So see, yeah. that's the, the Mahdi for the Shia will be for the Shia more. If you go for Mahdi, Mahdi. is in the Sunni Islam as well, brother. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's it's in both of the both of them. All right. So let's see who else. Uh, I have a few more. Let's take it. Hmm. Uh, oh, by the way, I made the video on Zayat Patel part two. If anybody has not seen that, go see that. He went into John chapter number 14 and John chapter number 15 to try to show what <coughs> that it is the prophecy of uh, Jesus, uh, so saying of Jesus for Muhammad, the prophecy of Muhammad. So that is the part two that I demolished again. Uh, I'm going to make uh, multiple parts, as I told you. Uh, this is part two. Every week, I'm going to put one part. So you can go and enjoy and see that as well. But it's in Urdu. Uh, OK, I don't see any any specific questions here as well. Uh, mm -hmm. Clear as much says, Aram Seeker, are the who who's with multi multi legated Gentiles? No, they have very flexible genitals. The who have very flexible genitals and they will never uh, they will always be, uh, you know, uh, they will always be virgin every time you enter upon them. All right, we have wannabe Mormon. Wannabe Mormon, you are not a Mormon, but you want to be a Mormon. So how can you debate us if you want to be a Mormon and still you do not know what Islam is? 
no no i am muslim momin but is you a, say wanna be momin momin is the next level like you have to be a very pious person and you know it, it's a next level so you are a muslim but you are not a momin i want to be i want to become a momin it's a next level if you work hard in the path yeah. of god okay so you know where allah is and how allah looks like but but your allah he told you don't say i'm mu'min say i'm a muslim boom uh, i'm yeah okay so you are saying that uh, that the reason that jesus will come after prophet muhammad peace be upon him and he will not be uh, hazrat muhammad peace upon him is still the last i never said jesus did i said jesus was born did i said jesus did i said jesus hazrat isa i said uh, i said isa okay yes. okay so, so will isa, isa come isa will isa come isa will come after prophet muhammad peace upon him so mm -hmm. but because he was born before prophet muhammad peace be upon him so that's why he will still be the last prophet prophet muhammad peace be upon him it, does that make sense the I mean, the you know, subject are, this is what the subject is still uh, about allah uh, my brother just a second amir just a second amir hold on so uh, what what makes sense to you i mean to me if jesus uh, hazrat isa is coming after prophet muhammad peace be upon him he is still coming after him so then hazrat muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is not the last prophet right okay what is he then i mean he's the he's last the messenger he is the I last mean, messenger my, he is a he's a yeah he he brought the shariat quran e majid mm -hmm. and that is the final shariat that's not going to change. are you an ahmadiyya yeah perfect okay now that makes sense what you just said now that makes sense so you are an ahmadiyya according to you according to you muhammad is not the last rasul he is the seal of the anbiya so he is the khatamul anbiya he is the last of the anbiya but not the last of the of the uh, rasul messengers am i correct in saying that yeah he is the seal of anbiya means he is the best of yeah, i know yeah yeah, yeah i know and i know how you translate khatamul anbiya i know i know it's not new yeah. for me so fair enough i'm not going to have an argument with you on that why because that's not even my point you believe in ahmad ulam mirza ahmad qadiani to be a, a rasul after muhammad correct yes what we say that the prophecy about second coming of hazrat isa alaihi salam was hmm. will be fulfilled in a second in in a, in a person who is born like as an any human being so yes born. so you are one of the sect of ahmadiyas who believe that ulam mirza ahmad qadiani is the isa right Is 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 Isa because his similarity in nature? Is Isa perfect? Ah, oh, perfect. No worries, no worries, no worries. He's Isa. He's Isa. So who is Mahdi then? So Mahdi and Isa actually in some hadith it was la. Uh, it it is mentioned that Mahdi is not different than Isa. Uh, okay. Mahdi and Isa so, are the same. So he is Mahdi and he is Isa, correct? Right. perfect i'm just trying to comprehend what kind of ahmadiyya you are because ahmadiyya has multiple sects as well and you are one of them perfect no worries no worries no worries so now now let's 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 move on uh who is the dajjal now because the jalul masi will be killed by isa or mahdi whoever you believe into him so which the jalul masi did he kill can you please explain that part as well before we continue yeah so there was a prophecy by prophet muhammad peace be upon him about the jal donkey If you go to that prophecy, you will understand the jal which the jal which the jal which donkey of the jal donkey of the jal okay kadha. yes mm -hmm. if you go to that prophecy, you will understand what the jal is. It, Who is the jal? It, the give it. Give me the jal, prophecy. Give me the hadith. The, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't have exact hadith number, but uh, basically it says that the donkey of the jal will travel the time. Uh, Come again, travel, brother. Come again. Donkey, donkey, donkey. The jal is not. Sorry, can you hear me? The jal, he is a person. No, no, a person I, according to Ahmadiyya. I'm giving the prophecy. I'm giving the prophecy of the jal donkey that he will travel the distances of months in hours. He will jump from one part of the earth, will land the on donkeys. another part. Of... He's speaking about the power But of the donkey. Ahmadiyya didn't say that. Donkey, donkey. 
No, 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 donkey, donkey. The Ta- Ahmadiyya donkey. didn't say, wait, 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 brother, you are confusing. The Ahmadiyya didn't say that. The Ahmadiyya is saying that the Dajjal meaning the prophecy what happening before, uh, uh, the, uh, before the resurrection. What happening? Not a person, not created some somebody or donkey or man. No, Ahmadiyya didn't say that. Okay, uh, brother uh, Ahmad. The saying fitna al fitna al uzma al dajjal. Brother, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I, yes, I, 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 you, I, hold on. You will understand so, it. If okay, 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 okay. Wait, 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 wait. That donkey hadith. Can you please give it to me? That I don't have the number right now. Okay, That's let me tell you why you don't have the number. I, I, I don't can you, would you would you like me to tell you why you don't okay. have the number? You know the you the hadith of the old lady which used to throw throw garbage on Muhammad was created by your prophet. It's not present in any of the Qutb Sita or any of the Sahih hands in the past. This is the same kind of a hadith which was created and fabricated by your so-called Imam, the donkey of the Jal. No, no. All sects believe in it. All Muslim sects believe in it. That's that. what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. It's it's actually yeah. taken. What is the speed of that donkey? Because we it's are speed, speaking okay. about okay. speed of... No, no, no. Uh, okay. I'm not going to... No, no. Amir, what Amir, I don't go... Hey. donkey could be. We change the subject to speak. Wanna be, of wanna be moment. Wanna be moment. That's where the problem yeah. lies. You come to my channel, you give me a prophecy, yet you do not show me the prophecy. That's where the problem lies. Does that make sense uh, to you? How can I, we move forward when you can't even show me the prophecy? I can search online. I mean, let me... Okay, go but search it's online. A, it's a ah, no buts, no buts, no ifs, no buts. Everybody knows about it. I mean, Brother, no ifs, no buts. Everybody knows that. Perfect. Show me. Everybody knows a... the old lady who used to throw stone, uh, throw dirt on Muhammad. Everybody knows that. Yet it is not there before but Ghulam Mirza Ahmad Qadiyani. But what I'm telling you... But that, what I'm telling you that uh, unless you show me the prophecy, how can I move forward? I, I understand that, but I understand. Perfect. That, but so show me that. Show me that. Show me that. Yeah. Show me that, and then we will see if the jal was traveling on that donkey. Right. But perfect. So show me that. The problem. There is no word. We take. Yeah, there no, is no word. Let me let me take. Give me give you one point. Just give one. No, let my me friend. Give you one. No, my friend. No, my friend. You can give me points. I had. You the... show me point. I had this guy as well on. Uh, no, no, nobody. Brother, this is a Pakistani. Uh, this is a Pakistani Ahmadiyya, and yeah. they are, they are, they are, they are very, very, uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, Misled. Persecuted, way. persecuted as well. Yes. Just like Christians of Pakistan as well, yes. and all the other uh, religions of Pakistan, for example, Sikhs and Hindus and everyone. They are also very persecuted. So I feel pity on them to an extent, but I just cannot take their narrative just because they want to create a narrative unless they show me what they are trying to show. So yes. that's why I'm a little, I have a little bit of a soft corner for these people because these people are as persecuted as, as we are in Pakistan. So apparently they can't even claim themselves to be Muslim in Pakistan because they are Ahmadiyya Muslims. It's it's a punishable to jail kind of an offense in Pakistan to be called Ahmadiyya and Muslim at the same time. So I yeah I always ho- heard of uh, a speed ho- horsepower you know never heard of a speed of uh, donkey's power unless if it's Yafur. So <laughs> we need Yafur in this case to have the power to of speed. You know, <laughs> exactly, and it was in a dream. <laughs> uh, the poor donkey has to come to us first before we can move forward with him. The poor monkey, uh, poor donkey, yeah. Ah, uh, okay. Have you found I... the hadith? Wanna be momin, have you found the hadith? Uh, 
I, I'm still searching, but I found one. Uh, still searching. Oh, so you're still yeah, searching, and one, it is such a uh, famous race that everyone knows that, and still you are searching. No, no. It, it, so actually, that hadith was in different parts. So it's once again, so it's, it's a very, 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 very common hadith. Let me let me tell you. Let me tell you what you're saying. You're saying it's a very, 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 very common hadith. Everybody knows that. Yet you're still searching, and you can't find it. Basically, it's in parts. That's what I'm telling. I am. You I am saying basically. Part, basically, is... basically, you just told me it is a very, 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 very good hadith. Everybody knows that. Yet Everybody you are not able to find that. it. Everybody, yeah, all the facts. And yet you are not able all to find it. And yet you are not I able to find one, it. I, I'm telling you. No, I found one of one part of it. It's in. Okay, you found Kanzul one part Man, of it. Volume seven. What? Kanzuliman, volume seven. Kanzuliman. So now you are going to Kanzuliman. So it's volume nowhere seven. to be found in Kutub Sitta, right? I'm not. I. I it, uh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not, just uh, I'm just saying that you you cannot find it in Kutub Sitta, correct? So ha Sitta, I don't know. I mean, I I found it until the Yeah, Sitta. So there is there is nothing nothing like that over there, correct? I I don't know. I, I have to still search, but I found it in Kanzul Iman. Kanzul so you found Iman. it in Kanzul Iman. Iman. Okay. Yes, Kanzul Iman. What does it say in Kanzul Iman? Show it on screen. Right now, it's say, it is saying one part that the, the jaz donkey will travel on what on water as on land. Traveling on land, it will have traveling on land. It will have clouds both in front and behind. Mm -hmm. um, and then, then it stops here and that keeps going. Uh, I think it just mentioned. Uh, so, what kind of a donkey of can we see see like that? Do we have a donkey like that? Yes. Yeah. Think. Okay. Think. Please think. It's, so it's a, a, a donkey it's a which is a modern time. It's a, a donkey. Of modern time. Okay, a mo donkey which speaks, which talks so fast. Oh, sorry, which walks so fast that there is cloud in front of him and in behind him. And travel the distances of months in hours. That's a speed. Tra so what travel the distance of months in hour is not in this hadith, yeah. but anyhow. So the, a donkey which walks so fast. That there is clouds in front of him and behind him. But how important this donkey for our topic? Basically, it's, it's basically he he asked for it. The, who's the jal? What I'm telling you, the conveniences of current time, which is a aeroplane, which is which aeroplane ship, does not walk the, on the road. The, aeroplane does not walk on the street. But it, it on, travels with a cloud in front of it. Aeroplane does not. Walk on the earth. My friend, it's a myth. It's just a myth. Believe me. It's a just By the way, lie. Tell me something. Why does it say the Jalul Masih rather than the Jalullah? The Jalullah? Yeah. The, the Jal donkey. No, the Jal donkey. Leave the donkey aside for the time being. When right. the hadiths of the Jal comes, why does it say the Jalul Masih and it does not say the Jalullah? You know what the meaning of the Jal is? To me, I think these are the nations which invented the aeroplane, all these modern conveniences. I said, and do I think... you know what the Jal means? Oh, uh, I don't know. I, okay. I don't know exactly. So now my question here is. It says the Jalul Masih. The Jal actually means a liar. Let me see. I don't agree with that. You don't agree with that? Go search it out. Because, tell me. Because because Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam called the Jal. Go tell me. Secondary. The Jal means first, my friend. Yes, brother. It is Al Masih the Dajjal, the uh, the Messiah, the Dajjal. So you cannot disagree with that. Yeah, but the have you ever have you ever read the hadiths? <clears throat> have you ever read the hadiths in the Arabic, which does not translate Masih with it? They only translate it and say Dajjal. I read it in uh, some in Arabic, but mostly in in Urdu or English. Okay, so when you read it in 
in English, in Urdu, in Arabic. So why do you not translate so Al Masiya Dajjal to... as Al Masiya Dajjal? Okay, it, there's no reason to try to trap me. I'm, all I'm telling is answering you that hey, Dajjal is, to, there is, is nothing is called try to trap you. The hadith that you just you know, read. You are, you are trying, to, trying to make me. I, these, these hadith are so famous. And you're trying to hey, make me. You have you not know, even given me the that. famous hadith, and you are asking yeah, me to, to accept your famous again. hadith. Hey, listen. Everybody, everybody what does it say? Hey, can you please read? Wamin Sharra Fitnatil Al Masih Al Dajjal. When it says Al Masih Al Dajjal, it means Antichrist, the one who denies Christ, Masih. Dajjal is a liar, a false Messiah. Why would there be an Antichrist in Islam, whereas it should be anti Allah? Well, a hadith say totally different thing. A hadith say that he will be blind from one eye and mm -hmm. his other eye will be very, very uh, uh, enlightened or very, very bright. And the okay. reason Correct, is but that, still that, that the one, one, one eye is the worldly eye, like worldly, it will have world power, worldly, it will be very hey, listen, successful. Listen, listen, do not but give me the shara. Religious. Listen. Listen, yeah. do not give me the shara that you created. I am not going to no, accept the hadith. shara. These are hadiths exist. Hey, wanna be Muslim? Just relax and take a chill with me. Do not try to create the shara of a hadith from your own interpretation. I don't accept that. Do you understand what I'm saying? I told you the hadith that exist. And then Once they, again, they listen to me very carefully. I do not know of any donkey which can walk on the road so fast that he has clouds in front of him and behind him. If you are talking with me about, can you please listen? If you talk to me about a car running so fast, the cloud will always be behind him, not in front of him. Number one. Number two, it will be the cloud of dust, not the clouds that Muhammad mentioned. Number three, in the front, you cannot have clouds. Number four, it is not a flying donkey. So you cannot compare it with the aeroplane. This is the stupidity which your scholars told you and you kept on telling us here in this live stream. Don't tell me stupidities. This is such an important uh, so-called hadith. You should know the number. And you should know the exact location and you should be able to give it to us right there and then. But forget that because you do not have it. I put you on the back stage so that you could find it. And I gave you five minutes to find it. You did not. Now tell me why does it's on your screen. It says the Jalul Masih. And you already have Hadith in the Hadith, which I can show you now. After this, once you actually say that, that Muhammad compared Masih, the Jalul Masih, with Allah, did Muhammad not compare the Jalul Masih with Allah? That the Jal will appear in the time of Masih, and when Masih did Muhammad him, not compare him will, with Allah? With, him, with logic, with 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 logic, it will kill him with the with the uh, talim, like a perfect hikmat, not like literally killing by the sword. Kill him by the logic. Kill him by whatever. And that, I don't care. What I'm asking uh, you is very simple. Did Muhammad not compare his God with the Jal? Yeah, wanna, wanna be just answer his question straightforward. I don't the, I'm yes. Did Muhammad did, did he compare with uh, the Jal with Allah? Yes. I, I don't know. You don't know why it is in Sai Sitta? Yeah. I don't what? know what you are asking. I mean, you can tell what you are yourself. Um, Muhammad compared his Lord, his God with Dajjal. I, I don't know. Okay, let me show you. So now, first of all, you need to understand he is called the Jalul Masih. Can you read it on screen and confirm that he, the, the Jal is actually called the Jalul Masih or Masih al Dajjal?
I see it, but I don't get. So okay. no, uh, you don't have to understand what it means. You do not have to understand what it means. You just have to see what it says. Can you just see what it says? You have a brain. Do you have a brain? I will. I will. I will. I will. I will. Go to the brain part later. Can you see that it says? What are you saying? You don't have to understand. What what kind of uh, discussion is that? I mean, you you do worldly things. You do it without brain. Uh, brother Adam, without put it for him in English, please. Just put it for him in English. Amir, 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 give me ten okay. minutes, please. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. I'm I'm leaving anyway. Uh, God bless you, brother. Thank you for having me, and uh, I was blessed to be with you, brother Ahmed. Thank you, brother. Uh, I wish to have uh, some live stream with you some other time. Awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, Amir. I know you. It's very very late for you. I fully understand that. It's Don't worry. Let five, me handle this a little. Five twenty. Five twenty for Thank me you. in the morning. Oh my goodness, that is too late. Yeah. Thank you, brother. Thanks for being here with Thank us. Thank you very much for Appreciate having it. me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Wanna you. be open your mind? Uh, maybe God will help uh, you. Thank you. Thank you. And our brothers in here yeah. will be with you. Assalamu Assalamu you. Assalamu Thank Assalamu you. Assalamu. Bye. Bye, everyone. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very bye much. Bye, Thanks a lot. Bye. 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 Okay. Bye. All right. <clears throat> we will understand why it says Masih al Dajjal later. Can you please read that it says Masih al Dajjal? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. So at least we say that. Now. <clears throat> <clears throat> Let's go to Sunabi Dawood. Let's read. The Prophet said, I have told you so much about the Jal, the Antichrist, the Jalul Masih, that I am afraid that you may not understand. The Antichrist is short, hand toed, woolly haired, one eyed, and one sightlight, sightless, and neither protruding nor deep seated. If you are confused about him, Know that your Lord is not one-eyed. How can Muhammad talk about the Jalal Masih and then compare it with his God? Uh, you have to put all these hadith in contact. I can put two hundred hadiths here, and I don't care. Yeah. That's that a simple question. Good. That's a simple question to you. How can he call him the Jalal Masih? means okay, the, the anti means the antichrist no okay. it says the fake fake the jal means fake the jal means liar christ if christ is not god himself how can he say fake christ and then compare him with his god no antichrist is a meaning somebody gave here it's in the brackets and then he used no it's that not meaning, so it's that not in it, arabic it, it says the jal al masih I just showed it to you. So that, in yeah, Al-Masih al-Dajjal, Masih al-Dajjal, they, they did not say Antichrist in bracket. I don't care what they say. I can read Arabic. You can read Arabic. You are a Pakistani. You can read what it says in Arabic. Masih al-Dajjal. Right. Okay. The, so the this jaal, is, the Dajjal means, the, the, the Dajjal, literal meaning of the Dajjal is liar. Masih means no. Christ. How can Al Muhammad no. says, whenever the fake Christ comes to you, be careful. He is not your God. Why would he say that? That's the meaning you are giving. The fake Christ meaning is that you are giving. It means the Jal of Masih. Okay, the Jal of Masih. Fair it, enough. It, it, the Jal of Masih. So the, when the, the Jal. The Jal of when the Dajjal of Masih comes, Muhammad gave exactly how he looks like. And then he says, if you are confused about him, know, you should know that your Lord is not one eyed. Exactly. That your God does not have one eye. So he is comparing. Why yeah. is he comparing? Why is he comparing a Dajjal of Masih, the fake Masih, with his God? He is telling us that here the eye, you have to understand what one eye, one eye means. And the eye I don't care means, about like, what one eye means right now. I no, only I, care about why did he suddenly move, move from the Jal no, no. to his God? Answer me that part. I, I can tell you simple. 
that the Tell job me will be very very successfully early. Okay, that's his. Why his right did he eye. compared and said means religiously, spiritually? My friend, religiously. my friend, do you comprehend English or do I need that's to speak I'm with you in a different language? Also... No, I am saying why is he saying that, that your Lord God? Lord, if you are confused about him, yeah, the over God is. Why would somebody be confused about the Jal no, versus God. your Allah? Our God is bright in both worldly manner and spiritual manner. He is the source of spirituality. He is the source of all the all the laws. Hey, stupid! There is nothing called spirituality about Allah. Is what is He saying here? If you are confused about Him, That's how can you saying. be confused about Him being God? How can any Muslim be okay. confused about the Jal being God? If you are confused about him, basically confused about... Okay, Wha uh, huh. that's it, that's it. Why Dajjal? can somebody yeah. be confused about the Jal versus Allah? No, like if you don't know what the Jal is, think that Allah Ta'ala is the source of all... My the friend, if you are confused all... about him, then why is the he Dajjal, describing Allah? Dajjal. Because he's giving an example, which means that he's talking about spirituality. Your brain is as dead as Muhammad. You, you have to open your that's, brain, man. That's the reality. That is the reality. You are, you are just like a Molvi. I am not like a Molvi. I eat, I eat Molvis every day, in breakfast, in lunch, and in dinner. This is how stupid, idiotic you are. I'm showing you <clears throat> that Muhammad <sighs> Oof, Toba. How can these, why can't they people they see that? Hmm. Let me see if another hadith can show him. Let me see. Okay. There is multiple hadiths which actually talks about it that Muhammad actually is comparing Dajjal with his Allah. Why is he comparing Dajjal with Allah? Because Muhammad knows that people will think of him as God, as Allah. Look, there is not just one hadith, there are multiple hadiths. Look how many hadiths is. Sahih Muslim. There is never a prophet who has not warned the ummah about the one-eyed liar. One-eyed liar. Look what the Arabic says. Okay. Now what it says. Behold, he is one eye and your Lord is not one eye. He is clearly mentioning in a context of your Rabb. Why would he compare it with the Rabb if Muslims will not think of him as Rabb, as Lord, as God? Next hadith, Sahih Bukhari, the Prophet said Allah did not send any Prophet, but he warned his nation of the one-eyed liar at the Chal. He is one-eyed while your Lord is not one-eyed. No matter how you translate one eye, I don't care. He can see this, he can see that, Allah can see this, Allah can see that, does not matter. When people will see Al-Dajjal, the Jalul Masih, the fake Christ, they will think of him as God, as Rabb. Otherwise, otherwise, you cannot compare him with Allah. Why would you simply go and start to compare it with Allah? You cannot. Next one, another one. The Messenger of Allah said, There has not been a prophet who has not warned the Ummah of the one eyed liar, Al Dajjal which is the Jalul Masih, as I showed you. Behold, he is blind from one eye, and your Rabb Allah is not blind. On his forehead are the letters Kufr, K-F-R, meaning Kafir, disbeliever. Wow. <laughs> Kafira is written. So over, on, in, even on his forehead, it's written Kafira, K-F-R. Your Lord is not one eye. How can he compare 
the Dajjal with Allah? That is the question. No matter what the I see, that's not the point. The point is, how can you compare him with Allah? It means Muslims will think of the Dajjal to be their God. Now these are the other these. Oh no. See? And Allah is not one-eyed. So unless you believe him to be Allah, there is no comparison. You cannot compare. At the end of the day, I know these, these poor, poor, poor little people from Pakistan who are Ahamdiyas. I feel pity for them. But at the same time, they do not want to use their brain. If they use their brain for just for two cents, they will be able to realize no matter which sect of this cult of Islam they will be, they are following a demon-possessed stupid idiot who can do nothing for them, neither in this world nor in the world after, and they are following him. No matter how many Rasul they can create after Muhammad, they are still going to burn in hell. Subhanallah. And Allah will not be able to do anything for them. Because they have created a false gospel. You create a false gospel, you're going to burn in hell. Thank you so very much. So I recommend you to go and read and study and find your ahadises and come to my Saturday live stream, which will be in Urdu. Maybe it will be easy for you to comprehend these things in Urdu rather than in English because you are ummi like your own prophet, my friend. Yeah, you have nothing but abuses. Because you don't have is this an abuse? Can't. Is this an abuse? Is your prophet not ummi? You when the, no, uh, you are is your prophet not like ummi? They, when they don't have logic, they start abusing. Is your prophet not can ummi? Can I add one point? Yes, brother, no. you can add your one point. That's all, that is yes. that is uh, the, the Mirza is not only the jail, he is a thief and liar. He is a thief and liar. You want me to prove it for you? Listen, he stole. He stole. Okay. Listen, brother, brother. Just I will. I will the prove it from system, your books. Hello. Did the torture? Ask me to prove it from your books. Mirza, he is a thief and liar too. From your book, okay. I will share one book with you, brother Adam. Yes, sir. Uh, and open a uh, column number. Let me share the book with you. Sure. Okay, can I answer you? He has not even yeah. given you the reference. How can yeah, you yeah, we will prove it. Sirat al Mahdi, no, no, Jizal Awad. He, he just said something. I just want to tell him one Yeah, thing. I will prove Please it. Please understand. Written, read history. Every time Prophet came, when I will, I will prove it from in, your book, yeah. from Sirat al Imam al Mahdi, Ahmadiyya, brother. There was a they, 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 there was bodily torture. Did all the people of that time, the system of that time, did all the uh, yeah, bad stuff against the prophet? Hey brother, hey relax, take a chill. Hey relax, and take a chill. Didn't, hey, didn't, didn't, uh, hey wanna be Muslim? Be, can you chill? Can you chill a little? Okay. Because did, because did, because wait, even Hitler was tortured. Is he a prophet? Go to forty nine. Yes. Yes. Can you please it, read what your own be, scholars are saying? And by the way, before... Can you read, please read what your own scholars are saying? Hold on. We are showing you Siratul Mahadi. Relax. I cannot That's search 49. So I need to go and go to 49 myself. 47, 48, 49. All right. There you go. This is Siratul Mahadi. It's on your own book. Ahamdiyaislam.org. Nobody else's. So, yes, brother, read. No, it's not mdislam.org. It's not no. mdislam.org. Okay, no worries. Relax, take a chill. There you go. Hold on. It's not mdislam.org. He just said, guys, he just said this is not mdislam.org. Relax, take a chill. Take a chill. Can you now take a chill? Take a chill. There you go. This is the link. I am putting it in private chat. There you go. What does it say? Does it say? Can you read ahamdiyaislam.org? 
It's in the private chat. Can you see I'm the Islam dot org? Please do not that, challenge me when I say something. I, I say something. I don't challenge me these things. Side. I haven't seen that side before, but what I'm telling I you don't is... care whether you've seen it or not. I said this is I'm the Islam dot org. You said it is not. Is it I'm the Islam dot org? Yeah, that is. Thank you. Now shut up. Ahmed, please continue, brother. Yeah. You have to continue. Okay. Yourself. Here's a and the Makan al Masih al Mawlud Shaban when Masih which means Mirza, he is a young man. Zahab al Istilam al Ratib al Taqaudi. He went to take uh, the money of his, uh, what we call the income of his uh, grandfather money, Walid al Masih. Zahab al Mirza Imam al Din. Mirza Imam al Din, he go with him. And when he takes the money, وعندما استلم الراتب أخذه إمام الدين بخداع. He did he deceived him and he mislead him who, and he take him outside. Who outside Qadian? Read it just in front of you. Translate it for him, please. Translate for him. Who 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 did who did? No, Imam 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 Din. Or yes, yes, Imam, Allah yes, Allah. Harami, thief, Imam is thief. Read there in English. When read the it. promised Messiah, peace be upon See, him, was a music. young man. He, yeah, can you yeah, read more, more rather than news. can you read rather than shouting? This this uncle I'm not like Muslim, that's abused. Can you read what it says? He said he's a thief. It's written he's a thief. Imamuddin, Imamuddin took it by deceiving and defrauding him. Can't you read it? No, no, he, he, he. he. Mirza Imamuddin went he, after he, him. He, he. Huh? This, this what? uncle Ahmed ex Muslim, this is just a, just a liar. Read what it says. It's your book, man. It's your book. Just read. Imamuddin your Imam is took thief. It. By deceiving and defrauding him. Don't act like Continue a monkey. Read. You are such Continue a liar. Read. read it. He take it his money. Continue read. He's a thief. He you take it his money. Like and he lie. Just continue read. Your book, man. My friend, don't you want to read? Imam Imamuddin squandered all the money, then left him and went to another place. I mean, this is a very famous. I mean, this we this is the answer we have given so many times. I mean, what's the problem, man? You guys have just continue read. He's a thief. Every read. time the prophets are blamed and things like that, and you put your own words read, into it to read, make read, read. to. And remember, every time when prophet didn't claim to be a prophet, he's famous. In his in his locality, in his neighborhood, he's famous as Tadik and Amir. Yeah, seriously, and, and he's a thief. And he's a thief. And he's a thief. A very good alim. And he's a thief. Hey, listen. Iqra, ya ghulam. Iqra. He claimed to be a prophet, and listen. people started making stories. Hey, listen. Hey, wanna be Momin? Listen. Right now, just five minutes ago, you had no idea about this. You had no idea about this website and you had no idea about what's written on it. Just five minutes later, this becomes a famous story. How did this happen? This Imamuddin story is a famous story. Nee, nee, I'm, just, I'm just asking. I'm just asking one thing. When we first opened this, you never heard about it. First, you said this is not AmdiAslam.org. First, first, no, first you said, first you said, first you said this is not AmdiAslam.org. Then you said, I have never heard about this website. Then when he started reading, you said, I never heard about this story. Now, five minutes into this story, you heard about this story and this story no, has I been said, answered so many times. So this story has been heard Adam, so many times, right? Thing, please, okay. And Can you show the book? The Muslim, yeah, I have already shown the book. The Muslim, the Muslim, shown. No, no, just show the book again. And I needed to read it something. Go down, go Which down. And uh, 49 what? and 49. 49. And 49. But these books are not. Yes. Listen. Just second, a brother. Yeah, just second, a brother. When the mother talking. When the mother talking. When the mother talking. Sorry. 
so sahaba uh, go down there as well depend on those books man. my mother says uh, and my mother yes this my mother and second my mother just read it and i will be okay. mute okay let me read my mother says it was a sala uh, i don't know who salam i need to see that he said i had understood from his word that my mother had passed away because if she was alive he would not have spoken such words when he reached qadian he knew she had really passed away my mother said when mirza imamuddin left me he wandered here and there and finally attacked the caravan leaden with tea to plunder it and he was arrested and then released in court ji my friend did he attack the caravans just like muhammad imamuddin imamuddin not mirza azam mirza ghulam ahmed imamuddin man who is mirza imamuddin he is a guy who who deceived uh, uh, this is a it was written earlier he was a guy who was with uh, who became partner in his journey hazrat mirza ghulam ahmed when he was going to get the pension he became his friend and then accompanied him in the journey and then he deceived hmm. him and took hmm. the money and then that same imamuddin also attacked a caravan that's about hmm. imamuddin not hazrat mirza ghulam ahmed la islam okay so but this was the companion of, of this was this was the companion of who no not a companion it was not a companion he was uh, it uh, uh, he was uh, just uh, like uh, maybe from the his, uh, his neighborhood or somebody who joined later on in his uh, in his uh, journey but basically mm -hmm. but basically what i'm telling you that the molvies so, have written the book the book so about Mirza, the story and they have so they Mirza, have said, they have so Mirza, the and they have put wait, wait. Ahmad as, as, so as, listen, as, listen, listen. As, let me you. let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. Yeah. So Quran says, "Masi knows what's in your hearts and mind, right?" Uh, it's it's not like Allah. It's not. I mean, he he can feel it, but he cannot make a call like Allah Taala. You, it's it's, okay. it's there is no magic if, in this world. Everything if, follows laws. laws if I if, if I if i tell yeah. if i show you if i show you that in the quran masi knows what's in your hearts and mind what will you do it it means uh, you have you you guys take things too much literally man That's too much literally problem. so we yeah, should not take quran friends, whatever it says example, we should example, not take for, for example a detective so okay. we should not a, a we should not take interrogating he can understand that my friend hold on relax take a chill take a chill take a chill take a chill But so we should not human. take a chill. So what you are saying, we should not take what Quran says. <laughs> oh my God! Hey 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 hey! Oh my God! Does Allah knows what's Guys, in your hearts and mind? Does Allah okay, knows okay. what's in your heart and mind? Okay, leave it. Does Allah knows question? what's in your heart and mind? Does I, I Allah knows what's in your heart and mind? Does Allah knows what's in your heart and mind? Uh, Allah Allah has a ilm uh, ilmul ghayb. Allah has the ilmul ghayb. Uh, he knows what's in your heart and mind, right? Yes. Why do you take it literally? Uh, Allah Taala. Why do you take it literally? Allah. Why do you take it literally? In some cases, we understand. Why do you take Allah it literally? No. So when Jesus knows what's in your heart and mind, you cannot take it literally. But when Allah knows what's in your heart and mind, you have to take it literally. Why? No, why do you take it literally? Human, no. What do you mean by human? Who? Who told Allah, you that Allah you can take some? Where does it says you can take one thing literal and the other thing you cannot take literal? Oh my God! When you read a book. When oh my god so now the question comes in book? when you read a book you now the now the do, now the, i'm not reading where to take things literally and where to understand i it. am reading i'm reading a divine book so called which was okay, revealed can, by can allah my question i mean can you give me at least some respect? yeah so i have to ask my question haven't finished though so my basic question is if mirza gulam ahmed if we are mirza gulam ahmed is messiah how can he not know that his friend is going to do this with him because he knows what's he going what is going to be done to him well it depends sometimes allah taala tells things sometimes it does, allah does not it's uh, not about allah telling allah, it's it does not say even, that 
it does not say when allah says it says wan unabbiyukum bima taquluna wa ma tadkhiruna fi banutikum inna fi zalika liyaya this is the sign of allah that isa knows what you eat or drink and what you store and what you do everything so isa knows what's in your heart what's in your mind whereas if ulam mirza kandiani has agreed to be a messiah he should know what his friend is going to do with him if allah tells him then he knows if he, it does, does not say him. quran does not say if allah tells him allah, he knows allah it him it's his power it's his miracle it's his okay, ayah don't speak okay don't speak you need to reduce your volume not mine i am okay i am saying that allah even gave him prophecy about first world war that the sky will attack allah did not give him any and... jack i am just asking you a simple thing if he does not know about his own follower how can he know about anything else <coughs> by the by repeating yourself you are not going to prove your point okay i already exactly i have already proved my point and you oh, fair enough so i have already proved my point can, thank can you I, so very I, much I, no I, matter how I, many I, times i prove I, it I, you I, will not agree okay can i ask my question please okay ask your question okay my question is this you, you are a christian right and um now and i also ask this question from hindus from christian don't even the don't tell the me who you ask more just ask the question oh, shoot okay so so my question is that is isn't prophethood a blessing is prophethood a is blessing it, it is a it is not a blessing it is a a burden that is given to a particular human being no no a blessing for other humans if god sends a prophet isn't that a blessing for humanity the somebody from god is 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 being sent by god isn't that a blessing and if it if can be considered blessing, as a blessing why, yes can be yes. considered so as a blessing in a particular way in a particular manner not right. generic yes right okay then why it stopped why nobody is coming in humanity why nobody no uh, why it stopped why that prophethood stopped in christianity who told you it stopped so who's coming did you not read the bible who came after 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 uh, hazrat isa so many you have 12 apostle each and every apostle is called a apostle is is called a a uh, what do you call it in english uh, yeah everyone is a prophet apostle is a prophet every apostle is a prophet who told you they are not okay okay that's the first time i'm learning who told you they are not who told you they are not I, i didn't know i didn't know that i just asked so if i just i was just asking so you told me that apostles are prophets so is there any apostle coming let me let me ask you something let me ask you something yeah let me ask you right. something do you have any prophet which is a female any prophet which is a female which is a female i uh, i don't think so why i can't answer this why but it, it, i'm asking you a simple I, question so a female does not have the right to be a prophet you said prof being prophet is a blessing for the humanity right just just like does the man have a right to become a a a, a pregnant that's not a right that's a burden is allah taala has divided there's nothing called allah taala i am asking you no and I, did did allah says that you cannot be a prophet because you are a female i don't think so allah said that but what i'm saying is allah taala divide the roles so, women are good at certain things men are so good at certain things so um, why why can't women be a prophet be a, why can't women be a prophet why can't man be a man be pregnant once again that's a human body physique it has nothing to do with being prophet or not okay. this is not okay. this you cannot compare compare apples with oranges do not do not compare apple with oranges right so it could be related to physique as well for a prophet you know if you think about it if a, a female prophet if she mm -hmm. gets pregnant i mean how mm -hmm. she will be able to serve her duties for example uh, so as, as a prophet right so so, so there is so what? body so you body are saying thing. you are saying if she yeah. is pregnant and she might have to stop talking to humans uh, to bless them for 2 months that's a problem 
I mean, it could be a bo- bodily thing. I mean, women are good at certain things. Men are certain, good at certain Why? things because of, their, because of their physique. Why? So that's all I'm saying, but Allah knows better. Why? Allah does not know Jack. That's the problem. I mean, you can beat my logic as much you can. But so, I you asked me a question. Thing. You asked me a question about the Bible. I gave you the answer. Let me tell you, in the Bible, we have prophetess. We have female prophets. Okay. Why does Quran deny all the female prophets? Okay, that's if the Bible has prophets because by uh, uh, Christianity is also a true religion, you know, and Islam. So if all if all we have, have prophets, ask, I should ask somebody about it. I will ask. No, you should not ask somebody. You should think about yourself. That why the hell Allah did not make a single female prophet in Quran, whereas in the Bible there are so many female prophets. But Bob, Bible is from the same source. It's from Allah. No, it's not from the same source. Do not compare my God with the demon who is the God of Muhammad. Please do not compare that. All abuse. If you okay. abuse. Yeah, but if your if your God is the same God of the Bible, then why in the Quran it is denied to be called Father to Allah? It is denied to be called Father to Allah because it's never called Father in in Bible also in in uh, in Bible. In Bible, when he said son, he said son to other other pious people too. Son exactly. Means so that's not what I'm saying. Means, so little... yes, yes, listen, relax, take a chill. So I am not talking about the uh, sonship of Christ. I'm talking about God being called father. Why does Allah deny to be called a father? Uh, why God is denied? Not... Allah, not God. Why yeah. Allah denies to be called a father? Not literal father. We should not call him literally. I'm a father. not talking about literal out father. Out of love, he's like he's like a father. No, Allah denies that as well in the spiritual manner as well. Can I show you? You don't know about your own religion. Okay, I, I may be mistaken. Okay, let me just show you. Allah denies it fully. You cannot even call him a father in that spiritual sense that the Bible calls it. We are talking about the Torah. And they say the most merciful Rahman has taken a son. Well, uh, you have done an uh, atrocious thing. They, the heavens uh, are at most rapture therefrom, and the earth splits open, and the mountain collapsed in the de- 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 devastation. Because you call Allah God, uh, uh, Allah as a father, that they attribute to the most merciful a son. Now Allah is going to go in general term. And it is not appropriate for the merciful to take a son. Now, what is he going to say? There is no one in heaven and in earth, but that he cometh to the most merciful, except as Abad, servant. So everyone is a servant, not even in a spiritual sense. You can call your God as a father, why? It it, it, it does not. It, it is pre- uh, prohibiting from literal. What is he saying? He's saying you can only call him father. servant. As a servant, uh, of course, we are his. Uh, his. Uh, you know, we should thank him, and we should all all the grace. Give me one us. verse where you can call Allah a father, or he did not deny to be called he a father. Many times we say that he's like a father, like he thinks about where, us. Where, where? I, I don't know. I don't know. There is not a single verse. There is not a single verse. What you show me doesn't say that. If that's exactly what it says. No, no. What does it say? Okay. Read. I, I, you already read. So it says the only relation that you have with the most merciful is as a servant, as a slave. If you think can he can this ayah say that? Okay. Uh, Does this say, ayah say listen to me. that there is no one in the heaven and the earth, but he cometh to the most high as servant? No one, no one, no one in the heaven and the earth, but cometh to the most merciful as a servant, as a slave. Does it say that? You can be a uh, um uh, a servant and you can still consider him as father. Show me where. Show me where. Show me where. 
that's I, that's I the whole thing so there is no one but you can't prove that you can't call him spiritually but what do you mean by that i just showed it to you prove me wrong be a man don't be a girl you haven't showed me the words man i just showed you so what, what else do you need to show is allah a liar is allah a liar no okay what does allah says you call him what you call him what yes what does allah says that you should be what a he servant can most... you be son or a daughter there there is a uh, the key ulam sometimes does here man. does allah says here that you can be a son or a daughter What can you be called me? son or a daughter? Can I be called son or not literally? Not literally. Out of not love, literally. Not literally. Where? Where? Kullo Allahu Hadd Allahu Samad Lam Yalid Walam Yulad Walam Yakullah. So what does it means? Kullo Allahu Ahad Kaho Ke Allah Ek Hai. Say that Allah is Ahad. Don't say Ek. Ek means Wahad. Say that Allah is Ahad. I'm Allah. not going to debate with you on Ahad right now. So just say, say Allah is Ahad Allah next. Allah is Samad. He is. Allah is Samad. Is, okay. Uh, yeah. Lam yalid uh, walam yulad. Lam neither he was, yulad. neither he no, was no. begotten nor he begets. Yes. So you cannot call Allah Father. And then, and then uh, there is no uh, part. So, so now what, what does that prove? So then that proves that he has no son and he's uh, neither he was a son of. So anyone. right now we are talking about spiritual one. So how did you move to the literal one? I'm saying literally he denied. Literally, literally so spiritually where did he deny it? Right here on the screen, 1993. That's your understanding. No, that's what the understanding of everyone. Can you show me your understanding of your scholar that it is not in the spiritual manner? I'm not trying to prove. Show me. You are trying. To okay, so me. don't tell me when you don't know. Don't tell me. Don't give me your understanding. You are nothing. Okay, I'm nothing. Okay. Okay. Yes, your teacher is. Give me your scholar. A good Christian prevent arrogance. I am arrogant because I'm not a good Christian. Can can, can I, uh, if you yes, don't sir. mind, brother, I yes, uh, answer about his question about the prophet. Can I share the screen with you? But the gospel. Uh, is yes, good, brother. Good idea. Adam, you gave that good. Uh, just a second. Idea. Look, look. I'm so humble. I'm a quiet. I have have an hour quiet. I didn't talk any any word, right? Okay. So you have to be humble, humble yourself, you too, and you ask a question, right? There you go. If we open Matthew chapter 24, verse, we will read there from verse 4. Look, Jesus, what he said. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take a head, take a head, that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name saying i am christ and shall deceive many and you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars see that ye be not troubled for all these things must come to pass but the end is not yet for nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pest, uh, pestilences, and uh, I don't know this word. Is really... Okay, okay. In diverse places, all these are begin of sorrows. I just need you to read those three verses for me, brother uh, Mokmen. Okay. Uh, then shall they deliver you up to the to be afflicted, 
and shall kill you and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake and then shall many be offended and shall bet betray one another and shall hate one another and many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many see so there the answer about your question about the prophecy no more prophecy after jesus christ because jesus christ he fulfilled it completed and he said be careful many they will come and they will saying he is a christ right but brother brother you're missing a point so here, no here, i didn't here. look here what he said I will, and okay. jesus no. answered and I said got, into got them point. take yes. head that no man deceive you got it got it but listen please it is saying many will come but he never said yes that so here 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 someone more, he more came will come he never says that no so a lot a come lot came as a false a lot prophet coming. it doesn't mean a that lot. the prophet will not come a lot coming and last one Mary no, I tell came. you I tell you the same kind and of he said I am I, I am Jesus last Listen. false prophet last false prophet he is Mirza okay last one he is Mirza he came and deceived the people under the Christ name and he said he is a Christ and he is a lie he didn't do any miracles no one miracles he lie on Quran also and Muhammad his false prophet too Muhammad he came to do dinghy dinghy to stall that's it after Muhammad he died Abu Bakr he said however who worshiping Muhammad Muhammad is not however however worshiping why why people left Islam after Muhammad died and why he left it Muhammad body uh, didn't put him in a grave three days for which reason can you tell me why? Okay, why? And Muhammad, he said, he gave it false prophecy. Muhammad, from his tongue, he said, the grave didn't, the earth didn't uh, eating the body of prophets. But after second day, third day, uh, Muhammad be dirty, smell stinky. Omar ibn al-Khattab, he said, put him in a grave, he be stinky. What kind of prophecy Muhammad bring it? What kind of prophecy now your Mirza Ghulam Ahmad bring it? Zero. False. False a prophecy. For that Jesus Christ in Matthew 24, he said, be careful. They will he come said that and be say, you kept on give, me, give me one no, prophecy. No, no, no. Give me one prophecy. Correct a prophecy from your Quran according to you're a prophet, you're Allah, or one prophecy, correct a prophecy, give it, you're okay. Ghulam Ahmad. Okay, uh, you conflict, you are conflicting with Adam Seeker, first of all, right? No, no, I'm not conflicting, Adam, I'm not Adam, doing Adam anything. Seeker, I quiet, also, brother also, Adam, are going listen, to be huh. wa, wa when you let me answer, man. Adam, he destroy you literally front of all, and you have no answer. I came after a brother Adam to just brush you from the ground. That's it. Okay, okay. Yes. Have, have, so have now give me one prophecy, please. Have your dreams, okay? But listen, the answer is simple. First of all, you're conflicting Adam, okay? Adam was saying that apostles are prophets. Second thing is, if you are saying... Yes, a false prophet. No more a prophet. Because the false prophet, Adam Jesus said... Apostles are prophets. Right, possible, no, possible. Adam, he said same thing. Hold no on, Ahmed, Ahmed, hold on, hold on. So, uh, wanna be moving, which yes. prophet are we talking about here in the verses that Ahmed talks about? Uh, prophet as a prophet, like prophet who gets okay. revelations. From when you do prophet. not, when you do not know the thing, you should not speak and do not say stuff like that. Let me tell you certain things. This is Matthew 24. And now let me fix you as well with going to interlinear. For many will come in my name claiming I am the Messiah and they will deceive in my name. This is interlinear of the same Bible. 
this is greek text many or will come in the name of me saying i am the christ christos can you read christos can you read christos mm -hmm. okay now the prophecy is that many so called blatant lying christ will come how will you know which one is right and which one is wrong absolutely Actually, how will you know how will you know there is a famous gospel how saying, will you know uh -huh. he according to gospel if there is a false prophet god will kill him no messiah false messiah how will you identify it's a false messiah a messiah is a nabi right any false prophet no messiah is not the nabi christ is not the nabi isn't that the teaching of bible listen 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 yeah. christ is also a nabi okay right. Right. but when we talk about messiah it is the second coming of messiah do you understand what it means it is okay. the second coming of messiah so how will we know the second coming of messiah you you're reading from uh, uh, from your book so you oh. are you went to my book so we will read from my book where else okay. we will read no no so, right that's fine that's fine i'm just i'm just okay. trying to understand do you want so, to go to your book i can go no, to no, your no. book it's fine read I, from your book saying, I'm, I'm just saying yeah you are saying there will be a second coming of jesus so so, that, so messiah the christ now can, can you tell me how will yeah, we know when is the second coming of christ to, to me the second coming of christ not I mean, to me according to the book that you are quran, going to i mean we know we know quran uh, according to the bible be, according to the bible how will we know when there will be when there will be darkness everywhere when people will be like they where say that you they are christian that there will be darkness really in god where yeah. did you read that there will be darkness um i mean that's how god okay. sends prophets so you do not darkness, know jack so let me just tell you you do not know jack let's read together i don't know so if anyone god. so if anyone tells you that the messiah he is out in the wilderness do not go out or here he is in the inner room do not believe it for as lightning that comes from the east is visible even in the west so will be the coming of the son of man whenever there is cascade there will be vulture will gather so he is now talking about the so called messiah that you preach now the bible that you went to which we did not but you brought it up you asked me the question from the bible you asked me this is what it says so if a person comes in and claims himself to be messiah and nobody knows from east to west and somebody is claiming in the house or in the street or in the wilderness that i am the messiah the bible says do not believe it he is a false messiah that's why i told you do not go to the bible i ask each and every muslim not to go into the bible because the bible does not go along with your statements it is wrong to go there because it will destroy you now read further this is the testimony of uh, uh, isaiah but i'm not going to read that part for now we'll skip that let's read here then will appear the sign of the son of man in heaven that prophecy and then all the can you please read because you don't know i'm teaching you now so that no, no, you will never no, go to the bible again the prophecy sun will be darkened that was such an amazing because something similar i saw in quran too can you please shut up so you are going to take half of the verse okay let's no, read I that will... now you want to read the right like, now you want to read this perfect let's read that yeah the sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light the star will fall from the sky and the heavenly body will the, will be shaken when did yes. this happen Yes, you tell. When did this happen? Immediately after the distress of those days. When did this happen? I, I don't know. I, I mean, you tell me. Messiah, me? according to you, Messiah has already come. When did this happen? To to me, it. Uh, so for you, it's already passed. Darkness. So tell me. Darkness. Brother, to me, it's darkness. Brother, can of, I of destroy the this point? No, no. Brother, hold on. Let, 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 let him answer first and then you can destroy. When did this happen in the past, my friend? This is history now. You should be able to give me the exact date and time. It's like the uh, spiritual darkness. Spiritual darkness. Who the hell told you it's a spiritual darkness? Because the sun. So you are going to translate, uh, you are going to give me the exegetes 
the tafsir of the bible from your own mind right and are you going to take it literally what did i ask you when did this happen i am asking you do you will you take it literally and then i will that... take it i will take it what my scholar says do you, do you so read any of my scholars what no so did you read any of my scholars no why but i will always i'm always ready to no no my question no, uh, 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 uh. my question is why i'm open hearted man no 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 don't tell me you are open hearted so before going to this what should i do with this if so if anyone tells you there he is out in the wilderness do not go out or here he is in the inner rooms do not leave it for as lightning that comes from the east is visible even in the west so will be com- the the coming of the son of man wherever there is a carcass there the vultures will gather so actually, what should i do with this exactly if, if you understand it actually the prophets the the two prophets not prophet they, i'm talking about the messiah their truthness yeah messiah the true messiah his truthness mm. will be as uh, bright as as a star where because, does it says his truthness because and and and, and the people who are who told you who told messiah, you who told you this is logic. they don't have who, any logic they don't have who, any basis their words are doesn't mean anything you know uh, they don't make sense so words don't mean anything that's what it means that's what it's, it's telling so the there. words do not mean anything now no no i'm saying the false prophets no no so messiah, so right now so you are telling me the words do not mean anything for as false, the lightning comes false, from the false, east messiah. visible in the west who knows about gulam mirza qadiani except certain small number of people his logic is absolutely perfect it's it's hey i, I listen it's when do perfect. everyone you knows about him it. there's only god exists hey today. stupid idiot demonic being now, when you, you are abusing you you will end up okay this is how stupid it is he will going to translate the bible the way he likes to translate and he will take any point as so called his way of interpretation when i told him to give me so these are this is how demonic these people are i brother, try to be nice and humble with them but they don't want to be nice and humble my brother uh with all respect god bless you you did a great job can i share the screen with you yes brother please i will finish at this point and prove it he is a false yeah. prophet and yeah. he is not spoken let's go to the tornami 18 and verse 20 but the prophet which shall presume the name which i have not commanded him to speak or that shall speak in the name of other gods even that the prophet shall die right let's go what the god want to prophet to say right let's go to exodus 20 exodus 20 the god said here i am the lord the god which have brought the out of the land of egypt out of the house of bondage the uh, though shall have no other god before me shall not make into the any graven image or any likeness of any things that blood and there the god give it a 20 commanded don't kill don't stall don't commit adultery right jesus came and he said he added it if you watch any woman and do you think desire in your heart you commit adultery with her right but muhammad he came what he said muhammad he came in surah at-tawbah he came, he said when the sacred months have passed then kill the polytheist he broke it the commandment with the god gave it in old testament and the god jesus christ gave it from his tongue in new testament muhammad he came after him he break it the god he said don't commit adultery jesus christ if you watch a woman and like you commit adultery in your heart right muhammad he came what he said in uh, surah an-nisa chapter 4 verse 24 if you enjoying with her paid her Muta habibi adultery aini ainak right hand possess for women's right hand the, uh,
Muhammad, he breaks the God law. He's not a prophet. He's false a prophet. Finally, Muhammad, how, how Muhammad is died? Aisha and Hafsa killed Muhammad. Finally, Aisha and Hafsa killed Muhammad. They gave it him medicine and he died. He just said, don't give me medicine. Go give me. Finally, he died. So which means the Bible talking about the false prophet like Muhammad. And finally, now Mirza Ghulam Ahmed. Same. What kind of miracle he did? What kind of prophecy he gave it? Zero. He destroyed. He from his side, he destroyed his <coughs> so, When he said, sorry, when he said the prophet according to your Bible should be uh, should be die. Yes, the false prophet. When Jesus said in in Matthew twenty four. Thank you, thank you, brother. Exactly. This this guy is going to tell us exactly how to interpret the Bible while he does not know anything about the Bible nor the Quran, yet he is going to interpret it the way he wants to. This is why I do not like uh, these Ahmadiyas who has no knowledge whatsoever. I would like to speak with an Ahmadiyya, but at least the one who is at least honest with his own beliefs and honest with anybody else's beliefs. Now, uh, Sana Augustine gave us a $10 super chat and said, Brother, may the Lord protect you with his precious blood. Amen. Thank you so very much. And then our brother Pierce Taylor gave us another Australian $10 super chat, said, God bless you guys. Thank you so very much. Appreciate it. Last guy. Uh, come on, man. Your, your name is really, uh, really bad. I'm going to change your name to Abdul. Yes, what do you want to say, Mr. Abdul? Mr. Abdul, what do you want to say? Maybe he can answer about where is Allah. Allah finger, Allah finger, where are you? Do you want to say anything, Mr. Abdul? Mr. Abdul, are you there? Okay, he doesn't want to say anything. Do you want to say something we, or not? We need someone to answer about the question. We ask a lot of questions today, Brother Adam, right? And nobody is answering so far. Yeah, we're looking for answer. Okay, this guy hello? is not going to answer. I'm, hello. Are you a Muslim, brother? Hello. Before that, hello, my friend. What's hello? Up? Are you a Muslim? <coughs> okay, you need to go fix your internet first before you come here, my friend. Sorry about that. So, why are you still here, wannabe moment? You you tell me what it means. I mean, I'm ready to listen to you. You were asking me, and I'm telling you what I understood. No, you cannot tell me from your own interpretation. But you. What does it say? You asked me for it. You asked so is Ghulam Mirza Ahmad visible for everyone and they know him? Is Mirza Ghulam Ahmad visible for everyone? For everyone. Did everyone see him? Everyone in the world see him? Uh, not literally. But his, not literally. His, then game over. Yeah. We are organized in Then game over. Then he cannot be the Messiah. Yeah. And we are the fastest spreading religion. Then he cannot be the Messiah. Okay. I mean, literally, if you take things, then you will not be able to solve. Anything. He will be coming literally in such a way that everyone will be able to see him. And there will be not a single person in this world who will say <coughs> that I have not seen the Messiah. Okay. Okay. I mean, you can sure. live in that world, I mean, the, the myth in that was, world. No, this is the world of the Bible. If this no, does not come into pass, if this does not come into pass, then he is not the Messiah. Full stop. You believe in supernatural things. You believe against the nature things, against the laws of science. I mean, I science. believe, I believe in literal meaning 
that he when he will come everybody will be able to see him without a doubt there will be not a single person in this world who will say that i have not seen the messiah full stop can i ask uh, wanna be mu'min to read for me surah al-baqarah chapter 210 Wanna be mu'min? Yeah, you are you putting on the screen? Yeah, can you can you read it? 210. If you yeah. want, I can put it on the screen. Yeah. Okay. There you go. It's on screen. Brother? This is Al Nisa. Surah no, Al Baqarah. Chapter two. This is chapter, chapter two. two. Chapter two? Yes. Ah, uh, okay. I'll can you read in English? Read in English. You, you can't read it in Arabic. Read in English, brother. Do they await but that Allah should come to them in covers of clouds and, and the angels as well? And the matter is then decided. And to Allah, all matters are returned. So who will come down on a cloud with the angels the day of resurrection? Who? Date, uh, date of his resurrection is not mentioned here, but uh, it's talking about... So he's he he talking about who here? About he Allah? He's he talking about people think that they will believe yes. in Allah. Yes, cool. When but Allah who? But who? But who? That Allah should come to them in Allah, cover. Allah, right. Masha, Jesus. Right. But, but so that is not literally... Allah... Allah Okay, just calm down. Just calm down, brother. Just calm down with all respect. Allah, he already every day coming down from the seven heaven to lowest heaven every day, a third part of the night. Already he came down. Allah is everywhere. But here, pardon me? Allah is everywhere. He cannot be at the No, world. Allah, he came down. Allah is on a throne according to Quran. Allah is not everywhere according to Quran. Allah is everywhere. I don't care about your mazhab. It's a state, state of a, it's a state of a. And ala al arsh istawa, surah Taha, verse 20. He's talking about the arsh, that he is the highest of the so, high. Ar Rahman, he's talking Ar Rahman. He said Ar Rahman ala al arsh istawa, Allah on the throne. You guys are not going to accept my understanding, right? But the thing is, why should wait, we accept wait, wait, your understanding? Which yeah. scholarly yeah. understanding so, are you giving? So what's the use? Why not you tell me about Christianity? So, do you believe Muhammad? Why he why jumping not, the sky. Why not, why not? How you understand Ahmed, Christianity? Uh, wanna wanna be Muslim? Do you believe? Do you do Isra wal Maraj to seven heaven? It's talking about the the. Status of Alamia that is highest so, of all. Do you? Um, I'm asking you. No, no. My question to you: Do you believe Muhammad? He fly to sky to seven heaven. No, it, it's not possible. Okay. So it when the possible. Allah in Quran said, "Wa ta'arijul malaika wa ruh fi yom min muqdarahu khamsuna alf sana min matadun," when the angel come down and come back, needed fifty thousand years. Do you believe that in Quran? Uh, the angel is. Huh? Did came in the in the shape of humans? No, no, I'm not say, I'm not asking came like what? Came down from the heaven. As as humans. I'm not talking as a human or a spiritual. I'm saying coming down from the heaven, right? Um uh, okay. Who's in the heaven? Send the angels. Well, angel is also a process. Who angel. sent the angels from the heaven and Allah. coming back to him? Allah, Allah. Allah, which means Allah in heaven. Surtul Qadr, Surtul Qadr is, uh, talks about it. But basically... It's so which means Allah in heaven? Spurt, spiritually, the height is talking about that it comes from heaven. But Allah Ta'ala is not... Allah Ta'ala is everywhere. Prove it it's to me. Prove force. it from Quran. Try to, try to understand Look. it's... Wanna be mu'min? Prove it from Quran. Allah everywhere. You don't know that. Uh, I know that. 
prove from that quran is closer than your the the what you call his knowledge his no, knowledge no. have have you have you read that that wait, wait, wait. yeah i read it i read it because because he assign it with you the devils and angels no 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 i'm asking if you read it that he's closer than your vein in the neck فهو قريب yes قريب بعلمه is knowledge in the different places it is allah tells everywhere when it talks his, about his that, look what he said in surah al mujadala your allah said in surah al mujadala there is no three devils allah has the four between him وما من نجوى اثنين الا هو ثالثهم ولا نجوى ثلاثه الا هو رابعهم ولا خمسه الا هو سادسهم ولا اكثر من ذلك ولا اقل من ذلك and after a couple verse he said انما النجوى من الشيطان which means allah between third and fourth and five devils allah is the force allah is the system. between the devils allah okay, okay, there is no four devils doing meeting allah between him okay do you know if a system does not have certain thing it cannot produce it do, do you know about that no the system according to quran no 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 if you I'm create a new system i don't care about your system outside yes. the quran no, no no i'm asking for a scientific law that in a system there is no scientific law in quran asking, man in man. quran allah he said the woman have a has a same and like a man and coming from her chest What kind of scientific you talking about? Do you believe the woman have a semen like a man? <laughs> and coming from her chest? <coughs> Do you believe that? I haven't read that. I haven't seen the context. وَيَخْرِجُ مِنْ بَيْنِ الصُّلْبِ وَالتَّرَائِبِ you are, You're a certain biased person. You're going to say, uh, take a wrong bro, thing. Bro, bro, you're <laughs> talking about scientific. <laughs> What kind of scientific the woman have a semen coming from her chest? I I don't know. What kind of scientific Allah he talk with the people in Quraysh? You will uh, uh, visit. We will visit a uh, calm Lut morning and afternoon. The between calm Lut and Quraysh more than one. a uh, 1800 kilometers how can those people riding the camel and donkey to visit qaum lut morning and evening wa innakum la tamuruna alayha musbihin where is scientific here where is scientific when allah he said wa ja'alna an-nujuma rujman lish-shayatin so the stairs fighting the devils but he forget when the devil He two times entered to the heaven in uh, in the seven heavens he entered the heaven without his knowledge okay don't stress yourself you have to read the context properly i'm not stressed i'm not stressed you, you should, you should where's not the stressed. scientific where's the you scientific should, when okay, uh, when the devil the devil t- get the password of allah bedroom and enter in allah bedroom two times okay i'll explain you one thing okay if go ahead I I I know that you will not give me a chance okay but take your I, chance but yeah. answer don't don't say yeah. okay but let me let me try let, let me try one thing okay can you open surah al hamza surah what surah al hamza surah al hamza yes open it from your side share screen surah al hamza how about surah al mutazahliqa <laughs> no i was i was going to just say okay or surah al muzdalifa have you okay. read it surah al mutamantiha i was putting, <laughs> i was going to put my point surah al rafisa <laughs> okay listen i was put I crazy was man there is man nothing. your quran here i was i was i read your quran more than 100 was, times was, you came to lie on the laughing on me here there is no. open surah al hamza for me yalla there yeah. is no there is no surah al hamza in quran brother you you have to open your mind my friend And there is no surah al hamza in hamza in quran value value le kulle humaza tul lomaza maybe humaza. maybe he is a prophet that was the new surah humaza. brother so humaza have... brother yeah, he is yeah. talking about surah al hamza not surah hamza so he yeah. was he was ignorant in his pronunciation yes yes i am <laughs>
I am in a but what yeah. I'm saying is don't take things literally, try to understand why no, hey, no, hey, 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 hey. don't be biased. Your now, Quran is literally if you go brother. To Surat, if you get, go to the Surat, I, brother, I want to ask your you how, Quran how is you literally. Hey, listen, huh? listen, listen. Oh, wannabe. Okay. You wanna take Quran the way you want to take it? Take it and just go away. Do not tell me how to take my Bible. That's how simple it is. No, I was not. So was when not you. when you when you, you are you, I don't know why you're getting can you why can you please on that. Can you please shut up? You asked when me I, and I answered. Okay. So now according to my Bible, your guy is a fake messiah. What should I do? How can I prove him to be a messiah? From the Bible. Because okay. now you have okay. to give me from the Bible how to prove him to be a true messiah because you said he is the same messiah of the bible did you not say that what what he showed me that what he showed me false messiah will come but he didn't told that there will be no true messiah coming because okay. he's be... false messiah your prophet muhammad false yeah. a prophet he's so false a prophet so what's because the, the god the god in old testament said don't kill and okay. jesus said if you hate if you didn't love like you kill and okay. you're a prophet came he said in surah tauba when the sacred months have passed then kill the polytheist jahidu fi sabilillah fight in the way of allah Ta okay can can you please can you please tell me can you please wait wait let me complete it and tell me can you please tell me what's your teaching so about you're a prophet, prophet muhammad, muhammad. Let, me, let, let me listen listen you're a prophet, 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 muhammad. prophet muhammad let me listen listen give me one thing give me one thing from the 20 commandment that god gave it first to moses you're a prophet muhammad didn't break it one thing only one thing Give it to me. Go ahead. What? What? Sorry. So okay. first of all, do you believe the Torah or not? Yeah. So the Torah, the God write the Torah by his hand and give it to Moses, right? I mean, yeah, don't go into little things. Okay, but go ahead. So the God gave it to Moses, Ten Commandment, right? Uh-huh. Okay. So, so ten, commandments, ten Commandment. Ten Commandments is Torah? Uh, no. Uh, uh, I, Hazrat Musa, uh, Musa, Musa's commandment, yeah. Ten yes. commandments is Torah? Zabur, Torah. How Zabur. many commandments are there in Torah? Uh, Ten? I, I could be wrong, but uh, I could be wrong. I, I don't know. Ten commandments are in Torah, right? Yes. That's what I think, but uh, so ten commandments. What about what about said, what about the what about the six hundred and thirteen commandments that we have in Deuteronomy? What should I do with them? Are they not part of the Torah? Maybe those are ten were the main commandments, and then the other are the branches coming out of. So six hundred and thirteen okay. commandments comes out of the ten. Could be. I don't know. I mean, so Allah be... wrote the Torah for Again, Musa. And then you will get a, a Allah wrote Torah. the Torah. Allah wrote the Torah for Musa on tablets in which there are 613 commandments written. I, I think it happened. Allah transferred it through heart. Through heart. So I... he did not. He did not write it on the tablets. I don't think so. That people take things. Literally. You don't think so. So everything is about you you and your thinking and your way of thinking and what you think but you do not have a single person to back your claim no hadith no quranic verse no tafsir correct no there are a lot of tafsir okay where is it give me one uh, i have been asking you from the last two hours give me one reference of whatever you are saying did you ever give me a single reference of what you said uh I don't have reference for everything. But okay, so just give me the reference that this Torah that Allah gave is virtually in the heart of Moses and it was not in the tablets. Just if give me, me one. You have to follow the laws of nature. Give me at least something so that I could to... think that you have studied something rather than just giving some lame excuses over here. Give me something at least. Okay, I yeah. Brother, so many things that you have said right now, you have not given me any reference.
can you accept this yeah right right now right now i don't have for that particular thing you're asking me i don't have no 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 so I... you actually have not a single thing that i'm asking i have asked you whatever you asked i showed you on screen but when i asked you anything you did not show me a single thing why should i continue talking with you so then you tell me don't ask me then you tell me what are profits going to come in christianity or not is that a blessing what do you not? mean by profit going to come in christianity or not Brother, i already told he you jump, before he jumped no, there he, I, can, not, can you share the no. screen i'm not saying no you are saying Brother, yes Brother, wait, wait, i need to moment before I, you I, jump I, before you jump because you're talking about spiritually right can you share my you screen go. please yes. show him that spiritually can you tell me can you read this verse and tell me this is spiritually also so in surah Saad, verse 75 allah he spoke with the uh, iblis he said oh iblis what hindered you from adoring what i created by my own authority and the other translation by my own hand two hands is that also spiritually Huh? The, the, the Iblis, the, the, that's a process. That, that, here, that, here, Allah he spoke with Iblis. He told him, why you didn't bow down for who I created with my own two hands? Right. So this, is, so this, is, this two hands is also Allah create Adam spiritually or using his hand? Total spiritually. So which means Allah liar here. Congratulations. This, Thank this you. Is, this huh? is this is a conversation so why just... would allah say why yeah. would allah say that he used his two hands to create rather than saying that he created why did allah said that he used his two hands um he created the, 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 everything and but why did he use over here as khalaqat bayadayya two hands why did he use the word two hands yeah it's an, a good question i mean yes. uh, if, if i have to understand it i have to understand it but i don't know how to understand so you do not know so you this is not spiritually then because be if allah if allah is using explicit two hands he did not use by yadai by yad not a single hand not hands as in pruler yadayan pruler means three or three more than three Allah explicitly used the word bayadayin, mean bayadayya, which means two hands. Why did Allah use it. two hands? Brother, Small it's point. already clear. It's already clear. Why did Allah use two hands? Uh, I, I think he's putting in front of, I'm, I'm, again, this is, this is, I have to understand it. I mean, this is something I have to so understand. So when you are cornered, you need to... to understand. Fair enough. So there is a problem in Islam. At least you need Man, to agree over here. Three times when I asked him, he said, I have to understand it. Yes. So, so, many every... things, so many things which I need yeah, to understand. Yeah, you I have mean... to understand. I know. I know. Relax. Take a chill. So every time we show you that it is not just in a metaphorical way, there are literal ways. And you know that you are cornered. You say that it is not true. I need to understand. This is why you actually do not know. This is called you being cornered. This is the third time you are being cornered. So now, your last question, and then I'm going to end my stream. Okay, my last question is this: that why the I based upon Ahmed, there is no pro profit out There is nothing called Ahmed. Did not say that. You tell me. You ask me a question. Forget Ahmed ask me the question so if there is no prophet after jesus when did i said there will be no prophet after jesus that's what i'm not even getting an answer what can i do i if told you there will be prophets there are prophets there will be prophets can you read romans 16 1 to 2 phoebe is a prophetess he just, he a just said that prophet. there will be only false prophets he, hey, 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 he never said that false messiahs do you don't read you don't understand you don't comprehend it's not my fault let okay. me show you what the bible says it. relax take a chill now don't blame anybody else. Relax no, and take no, a chill. I got it. I'm saying I got it. Relax and take the chill. Now let me I show you. It. You want to see prophets? I'm going to show you prophets. There are prophets in the Bible after Messiah. This is Romans chapter number 16, verse number 1 to 2. I command you, Phoebe, our sister, who is the servant of the church in Canada. You have received in the Lord a manner worthy of the saint, assistant in the way after business. She needs you. Okay, let me just move it to king james kjv uh 
where is it phoebe the prophetess where is it man there we go <sighs> that they have received her in lord as become its saint and they yet assist her in whatsoever business she had need for you for she had it been source of many and myself also phoebe is the prophetess that we actually talk about in romans the greek word here is dekunos which means deacon now if we go to first corinthians chapter number 4 uh, 11 verse number 4 to 7 it says let me show you every man praying or prophesying having his head covered dishonored his head but every woman that prayeth or prophesieth with his head uncovered dishonored her head so there are female prophets prophetess as well unfortunately adam that prophesy any okay. any no non prophet can no have worries. a prophecy no worries. i don't that... care i yeah. don't care what you think okay. i only care what it is written okay. why why this this not okay but it doesn't uh, tell me happened? that they are prophets it, it just tell me they got a yeah it doesn't it doesn't tell you anything my friend that's the problem with you not with me okay okay uh let me show you acts 16 to 21 hold on i don't know i actually did a mistake so this is what acts 2 but this is what we were spoken by the prophet joel and it shall come to pass in the last days said the god i will pour out my spirit unto all flesh and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy shall do what prophesy thank you so very much now let's see there are some more prophetess in the bible let's go to chapter number 21 of acts but Adam, my Jesus is already is, gone. Even non Acts 21. And the next it. day, we that we were of the Paul's company departed and came unto Caesarea. And we entered into the house of Philip, the evangelist, which was one of the seven and adored by him. And at the same man had four daughters, virgin, which did prophesy. Who is, do we have female and male prophets in the Bible? Both after Christ? I, I didn't see it. They were just prophesying and prophesying even non. Who is a prophet? 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 I tell you, I tell you. The prophets are so any non prophet can also get prophecies or visions, but the difference between prophet and non prophet is that prof, the prophets get. Where did you read that? Abundance of it. Where did you read that? Where did you read that? Of, of words of uh, God. This is in Quran. Where did you read that? It's in the Quran. Where did you? Ah, what the hell? Why did you bring the devilish book when I'm reading the Bible? Okay, don't. In the bad. Bible, don't say the bad. A prophet is the one who prophesies. That is why he's called a prophet because he prophesies in the name of God. No, I, I if a pro I can I can find it in Bible too. Okay, I will. Okay, I will find, find it in Bible. Yeah. Find it in Bible and come back. Yeah. So no that problem. now you're done. But but it's a good point, Adam. No, I it's not a good point. It is no, the no, only your point. point. Your point is hey, good. listen, listen, silly. Yeah. It yeah. is the only point. Okay, Biblically, it's a good point. I'm saying can it's you good. please it's a good no, blessing. It is the have. only point, Abdul. A prophet prophesy. A fake prophet give a fake prophecy. There okay. is nothing called Jibrail coming to somebody for making him to be a prophet it is stupidity in the bible a prophet prophesy that is why he is called a prophet okay 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 and that's a good thing that's a good thing take care bye bye that was your last question i showed it to you all right guys i think that's the end of the stream we have 
illiterate of those who has no knowledge, no reference, no nothing, yet they come up and have a stupid argument. And each and every argument times when we destroy him, put him in the corner, he comes up and says, oh, uh, that's a difficult thing. I have to read it. Then why are you here? So every time when I will demolish your argument or Ahmad will demolish the argument, you will say, oh, sorry, I do not know about that. So basically you are losing the debate, not just once, not twice, not thrice, but multiple times. And every time you lost the debate, at the end, you'll be like, oh, I don't know. When I showed in the Bible, the Messiah will come. Oh, why is it literal? You think it's literal? It is literal. <laughs> it is literal. There are, there are exact literal things which Jesus told us. Nobody in this world will be able to say that I have not seen the Messiah. This is how it is. You cannot say it is not literal because it is how it is. This is how it is described so that you will not go into the corner and say this is the Messiah. You will not go into the house that this is the Messiah. When the Messiah will come, everybody will know that is how the Messiah will come. Otherwise, it will not be Messiah. That is how we can see that any person who claims to be Messiah is not a Messiah because he is hidden. And we see these kind of Abduls every day. Peter Taylor, thank you so very much. With Australian five dollar super chat, said, please read the book of Matthew. Call it Jesus is alive. Amen. Yep, yeah, absolutely, he is for sure. We don't have to go into that at the moment. But anyhow, God bless you all uh, for being here. Thank you so very much for being here. If somebody has not subscribed to our brother Ahmad's YouTube channel, I'm gonna send the link once again. Uh, please subscribe to his channel. He is a brother in Christ, an ex-Muslim brother in Christ, and he has a lot of knowledge of the Islamic scriptures. Absolutely a lot of. And he has memorized almost everything, I think. <laughs> um, Andrew D is saying, what is he saying? And today is saying what I would like Amazon, uh, Adam to know about my experience in Napkalinda as a Christian, and I'm sure Adam will find it fantastic. Sure, Andrew, you I think you are with me on on Discord as well. So do join me. So if uh, people would like to join Ahmad, this is his his channel. If somebody would like to support our brother Ahmad, this is his Patreon. And uh, there we go. Thank you so very much for being here. This live stream went very long. I was not expecting this to be long, this long at then. But when we actually almost was about to end the stream, we had our Abdul friend coming up and having a long, 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 long talk. Uh, but anyhow, I hope a lot of you received a lot of information uh, through this discussion. And before that, we had a fun time. Uh, we showed and destroyed Allah. Allah is actually an alien. We have seen that. But the problem is that these people who are Muslims come up and they do not even show us how Allah is an alien. They want to go for this and that. And when every time they are cornered, they just run away. Brother Ahmed, your last words, brother. I hope you enjoyed the discussion as well. God bless you, brother. Yeah, absolutely. I enjoy it because finally we catch it one salami, one handicap worshiper to answer our question. But he running away, he have no answer. But finally, we found that someone he has a little bit, you know, trust himself to join guests to answer, to try to do some de debating. Yes, brother, God bless you and I appreciate it. Thank you for, you know, try to support me, support my channel. God bless you, brother. And I'm enjoying, absolutely, I'm enjoying a new live stream today. And uh, God bless you. I will pray for you. Please, you are also pray for me and keep going, brother. Always, brother. Thank you so very much. Have a blessed day, evening or night, wherever you are. Everyone, thanks a lot for being here. Thank you, everyone, for supporting the channels. And I'm sorry a lot of people said that they were not able to give the super chat. So I'm sorry. But have a, have a blessed time. Take care. See you later. Next, next week, uh, Wednesday, we'll do another live stream. So until next mm -hmm. week, Wednesday, take care. God bless you all. And Ahmad, you know, yes. takbir. Takbir. Allahu Al Akbar. Al Masih Al Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Hatta Al Qabr.
All right, guys, take care. Yeshua, Akbarul Azim. Amen.